Recently, in a country far away, an AS officer was called to his boss's office. Dear colleague, started his boss, do you know what AXM stands for? Of course, boss, replied the AS officer. AXM is the abbreviation for Aeronautical Information Exchange Model. It is a worldwide standard for the provision of aeronautical information in digital format. Since 2003, AXM has become a joint development between Eurocontrol and the FAA, with support from the international community. Furthermore, it is considered as a means of achieving compliance with the standards and recommended practices for digital aeronautical data exchange, as stated in the ICAO Annex 15 and the new PANS AIM. Right. The boss was impressed. I heard that other NSPs have AXM already. We cannot afford to be the ones left behind. Herewith, you are the designated AXM expert of our organization. Now, get us this AXM. Although our AS officer had some doubts about this promotion, he immediately started to find out more about AXM. He knew that the first address to learn about AXM was the dedicated website, axm.aero. This website provides complete documentation for the AXM versions in use, including information about coding guidelines, support for implementation, and links towards other relevant resources. After collecting and studying all this information, the AS officer tried to summarize. Okay, the fundamental of AXM5 is the logical data model. It is also called the UML model, as it is developed using the unified modeling language. The logical data model describes all the features of the aeronautical information domain, the associations between these features, its attributes, and the allowable values the attributes may carry. So basically, it defines the content of AXM. Then, business rules are used to validate complex constraints, such as dependencies between the values of different attributes, detection of out-of-range values, mandatory properties, and so on. For defining the business rules, AXM5 relies on a standard called SBVR. I don't know what that is yet, but I will find out later, thought our AS officer. Most of the aeronautical features have a geographical aspect, such as the position of a waypoint, a guidance line, or the lateral limits of an airspace. Therefore, for the encoding of positional and shape data of aeronautical information items, AXM uses the implementation of an ISO standard for geometry, called Geography Markup Language, or short, GML. Of course, also time is an essential aspect on the aeronautical information world. In order to satisfy the temporary requirements of aeronautical information systems, AXM includes an exhaustive temporality model, which enables a precise representation of the states and events of aeronautical features. As services that disseminate information in AXM5 to consumers are developed, the ability to manage the linkages between aeronautical features is key. This encompasses the concepts of feature identification and feature reference. AXM5 relies on the use of universally unique identifiers, UUIDs, as artificial identifiers for AXM features. Metadata Metadata is data about data. It is used to provide, for example, the origin of the data and a point of contact concerning the data. The main aviation-specific source for metadata requirements is ICAO Annex 15. AXM supports the usage of the corresponding ISO standard for metadata for geographic information. AXM was developed to be extendable, allowing greater flexibility for international use. Therefore, the AXM UML can also be extended to support the needs of a particular community of interest by adding supplementary attributes, associations 
or even complete new features. AXM is also a data exchange format using XML schema technology. The AXM XML schema, or short AXM XSD, is the data encoding specification. The XSD schema can be used to send aeronautical information to others in the form of XML encoded data, enabling system to system communication. Received or transmitted AXM data files will be validated against the AXM schema. The AXM5 XML schema is automatically generated from the AXM5 UML model by using dedicated scripts. In addition to the encoding of static aeronautical data, such as data contained in AIP and charts, the XM5 also enables the digital encoding of the dynamic information contained in NOTAM and other similar messages. This is known as the digital NOTAM. A digital NOTAM will be provided as fully structured dataset through digital data services. There it was the temple of AXM. But behind all its building elements, there was much more to be known. The air sky was assured. Most of it, probably complex technical stuff. Who could help him to understand all that? Luckily, just in this very moment, an IT guy appeared out of the blue. For sure, he will be able to answer all the questions our ES guy was concerned about.